Right, there we go. Finally getting stuff on the way. Alright. It's almost like you prepared for us to fail, Dean. I know. I should I should set a lit an intim oh, I can't even be other asked. Contingency plans. Uh, what, that on whatever that whatever that word means, yeah. Yeah. That yeah. word means yeah, cool. Yeah. Um so yeah, last time. Um quite a few things happened actually. It was quite a long quite a long session because we had uh I think you started at sea and then ended up in an arena. I think that was that was how it went. Mm. Yep. So like two Sounds right. Different. Um. And those clever chaps decided that they'd enter a tournament together yeah. and fight each other. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In hindsight, wasn't the best idea. I also, but, you know. I also may have murdered, you know, Rye, which you know. Is yeah, a thing that happened. There will, there will, yeah, there will be penance to come for that. And don't you worry. There'll be a, an emotional toll to be to be wrought from that. But um, you guys have been the the, the vote for the um, the ninth minister of Valenry has been pushed back quite a few weeks. Uh, so you guys have been in the city now for a few weeks, and you're starting to get a bit jittery. And the whole city is really because everyone's on edge because of uh, shit that might go down if. Um, if things aren't resolved soon, if the lot, if because from what you know, the uh, the council is bickering between themselves on who should get because there's a, there are only three candidates candidates who go forward to uh, to be voted for by the by the um, by the lords, and everyone's bickering in the ministerial palace about how to handle that. So you know it's the game, it's how it's played, and you guys are starting to get a bit uneasy. And a bit angry that you're still in this guy in Paulus's villa, just chilling out, not really doing very much. Um, so, what are you guys all doing if you're in this, if you're in the city? What would you be doing right now? Considering you know what cities like now, basically Imperial Rome, but with steroids. Uh, Resin would probably be practicing alchemy. Mhm. Mm okay. He's had all the baths, all of them. <laughs> All of them. He's exhausted the women. Are you, are you sure you've had as many as Magnus? I was saying Magnus. No, I mean you. No, oh, me. Yeah, that's oh, absolutely what I've been doing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, I've, just, I've just been lounging around in Paulus's villa, just like lounging around. Uh, uh, we gotta like remember that um, Magnus actually came across some uh, information about Logan last time round, which he's probably wrestling with at the moment, like just trying yeah. to get his head around. Um, but Magnus, uh, I, I imagine you'd do some investigation, wouldn't you? You wouldn't just let that lie, yeah. you'd be like, okay. So, we'll put you in... Oh shit, hang on, I need to stop the music, what am I doing? Come on. There we go. Um, by the way, I've been playing Pillars of Eternity this week. It's fantastic. Um, you are, um, in the... Uh, it's called the Bloodline Sanctuary. Uh, and it's a place where the repository of all of the ancient bloodlines are kept, and you show them your your seal of lordship as one of, as a lord of Valenry, and, and they, yeah, they permit you entrance inside. Um, because not only is your lord of uh, is this, you're very happy because you're finally getting some use out of all of your Valenrethian pieces that you have on you, because they don't mean shit in Keldanian or anywhere else. And plus, no. because of how old and how circumspect your your rosette is to get in. They just afford you every single, you know, because it shows that you're from an ancient bloodline sort of thing. And there's nothing that the yeah. Valenrethians treasure more than uh, ancient bloodlines. And anything going back to Valen is that they treasure pretty much. So you are inside. And you do a bit of um, brief searching around. Okay? And okay. One, 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 one aide comes up to you with a, a candle and an incense burner and places them next to your the desk that you're sitting at. Because what happens is you go in, you sit down, and then an attendant comes to you and asks you what book you need to see. So he basically says, you know, what you know, what book do you need to see? And he has his, his hands behind his back. He's got like a like a, a close cropped Roman style haircut and uh, a, a tight fitting toga on. You know, looks very. He's also got a clipboard with like a uh, a candle shoved in the top of it, so it just you know illuminates what he's writing. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll ask to see a book of the bloodlines of Sarpedon. He says. Uh, Ah, uh, okay. Um, that's an old book. 
uh, give me a, give me a moment, and he and he goes away, and he comes back, and he says, uh, "This is all we have on Sarpedon, and uh, and the the families that are sired from his from his loins. This is all we have." And he, he slams it down in front of you, and uh, he he turns the pages for you because it's very old, because he has these like gloves on, mm. and uh, you guys you flick through, and um, you can see um, around two hundred years ago. Um, the line of that of like a bastard house of Sarbadon. You know, he'd have he'd had a few bastards and killed any. Yeah. It actually, actually became a noble house, uh, and it's actually called Ballonfire. That's the closest you can find, Ballonfire. And then you you cross. Uh, do an intelligence check for me, just to uh, uh, actually actually do five, do five. Do five. I assume that'll be perception. Yes, checks. perception. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, in this Perfect. one. So roll. E10 yeah, minus three. And we'll, we'll do it that way. That's fine. Okay. That's good. And then, uh, oh, no. so that's three. Do you want me to do five? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just two more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So okay. you you only failed one. Just good. So you cross reference the the Balan fire name, and at the back of the book, it's it says there's a list. That the scribes here have have put lines through most of the families that have died out, and there's only like one or two that are um, still around, mm. and one of them is Balan Fire. And then you cross-reference that with ancient with an ancient Keldanian text that you've got with you, with the languages and things like that, and it's actually Bale Fire. So it's it's basically confirmed there for you that that this is, you know. Actually, roll in the perception to see if you think it's true or not. Um, well, I I take great stock in books, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You passed. So, so yeah, you are you are very much yes. This is this is a true thing. Okay. So, I'll I'll, I'll think this over, <laughs> over hmm. the the time I've got. To the bathhouse. <laughs> yes. With my book. All right. So um. <laughs> Mezon, you are doing some alchemy in like a brazier and in his uh, in this in Polis's estate, like one of the gardens or something. So, do you want to roll? Um, yeah, I'd roll perception maybe. Um, yeah, go for it. Roll perception. Should be fine. Mm. Times. Nice. Minus one. Ooh. Okay. Let me just do this. All right. So, option minus one. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so you uh, start mixing a few concoctions together, and I'm gonna let you choose five to make five vials of whatever you want with that roll. Um. Five vials of one thing, or five... Five vials of... No, vials. it's going to be one thing. Just one thing. Alright, um... Should I go for... Go for broke and go for the... The Kale's Bane? <laughs> Although I don't know if I have that much combat left in this. Um, I think... I oh, you, just you've go... got a lot of combat left. Don't you worry, yeah. It's... it's... <laughs> hmm? You've got a lot of combat left, don't you worry. There's no... Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think I'll go for the... Uh, the... I'll make five vials of Kale's Bane. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's fine. Um, Hoshi, what would you have been doing this whole time? It's been like two weeks oh. since, since... Well, I mean, I'm pretty. I'm still pretty wary about our reputation in this town, so I'm probably just going to be hanging around the villa, not doing very much. Mm -hmm. Just checking over my equipment, repairing anything that needs repairing. Have you, been, um, have you gone back to the ship at all, or have you you've left it as is? Um, I think I'll probably have been visiting the ship every so often, just kind of as much as I can. Well, actually, no. I'd like to set up a. Um, I'd like to probably ask the crew to report to me about the states of the ship. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, Each you're day that we're there. Decent report of the ships. You know, it's getting admiring glances and all that, and it's just it's just sitting there at port, nice. And people have been inquiring about it about when it's moving out because they want to uh, uh, take ship. You know, they want to be taken by it because it's a. Uh, Looks quite like quite a nice ship, and the crew have been professional and stuff. 
Um, because they really appreciate being paid, because it's a rare thing. Normally, you know, crewmen are either not very well paid or not paid at all, and you know they're very happy to be, be to be paid, and they're even more happy to be paid to be in port. I mean, that's jackpot, you know. So they've been in town just sorting themselves out. They've not been eating into your provisions at all, because you know they buy most of it in, in the city. Yeah, that's pretty much what's going on there. So Logan, what have you been doing? Um. Logan has been trying to learn um, how to write and read Valen Rethian, um because he didn't have the opportunity to do so when he was hanging out in the in the fringes of Valen Reith, um simply because he didn't have access to a library. Okay. Um, and he, he kind of wants to get more involved in the culture because um, it's the you know the birthplace, the binding, and that all that sort of thing. Okay. That's probably what he's been doing, and so, bringing Magnus to teach him as well. But I don't know whether he's been actually doing that. Um, I would. I would absolutely like to teach our future emperor how to read Merlin Rethian. <laughs> oh, okay. Would you tell him how well, to learn that, or would you not I'd, say that? Uh, I'd keep it to myself in a moment. Okay. <laughs> Just for the moment. Sounds good. Just for the moment. Cool. Alright, so, um... Okay, so you are now... going to need to roll a few perceptions. I'm going to say... Do you know what? You're learning a whole new language, so let's say eight perception checks. God, if only it was that easy in real life. <laughs> I know, right? Depends on his rolls. Ooh. What's your perception score? Um, yeah, you're, you're not fine. good. You're fine. No, you're fine. Uh, five was the was the point that you needed to hit, and you passed it more than... More than On one perception minute. five, so yeah. it's good. So good you actually managed to get a a grasp on Valenrethian. Not an amazing... You're not fluent, but you can understand what's being said towards you mm -hmm. in Valenrethian. And if you okay. carry on practicing it's this every session, then you will get to be fluent in like two sessions. If you roll like that again, you'll be fluent next time. So... Or you can elect to use the time between this session and next session doing that, but you know, there will be other things afoot by then, hopefully, so we'll see. Um, okay. Thank you. Right. Okay. Um, for some reason I've seen everyone's uh, network warnings have come up on everyone's stuff, like Resin, Logan and Hoshi at once, all at once. That's strange. Yeah. No, fine. Okay. Um, that's cool. Just roll twenty, being roll twenty. Um, so, like the day, the day is drawing near where you're gonna have to go to the palace, and uh, because because the date's been set now, it's in like two days, two days time. And um, who is in? If if somebody would be in like the the one of the main state rooms, just doing shit, who would that? Who would that be? Like actually talking to Polis and. Doing all of those stuff, things like that. Anyone who can manage to organize him. Or not? Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say I, probably not me. You're a people person. I, 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 I've been like, I've been so basically been like crashing in his villa for like two weeks, so probably me. If, it, yeah. if anyone was to be talking to Paulus, it'd probably be me. Okay. This is like yeah. crashing on his couch, essentially. Um. <laughs> the Valenrethian <laughs> version of crashing on his couch. Yes. Like lying on a bench and eating grapes. Yes. Um, so yeah, you are you, you're talking to Polis, um, and he he basically has waved you aside and said, uh, he, he, you can see his jowls quivering. He says, uh, there is a, uh, we will be going to the palace in two days to vote on who will be the next, the ninth minister of Valenry. Mm. And... I have it on good authority that uh, your word may carry some weight in the deliberations up there. Perhaps it will. He says, uh, if you were to, let's say, persuade several of the lords to follow me and vote for me, I can promise you wealth and I can promise you certain other things. A villa, perhaps, or information. Certainly protection whilst you're in the city. No one will touch the friend of a minister of Valenry. I'll bear that in mind. Uh, do a perception check for me. 
Dude, it doesn't need to be very high because uh, the person who's hiding from you isn't trying to hide very well. Okay, right, okay. Um, okay, you see, like, uh, uh, the sun's going down in Reverie at this moment, and uh, the curtains of this room blow inwards a little bit to reveal, like, uh, the orange sky. And then you see behind you there is a, uh, a figure standing there, just all in black, with, like, sort of got, like, mist tendrils, it's, like, flowing off of him. And they're polished, like, 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 jumps back in surprise. And you turn around and you see that it's Hassan, so you relax visibly and you you just tell Polis to calm the shit down. And, uh... That's it. Ah, I see the rogue graces us with his presence. He, what is he, it that you want? He basically just uh, bows, like uh, you know, really flamboyantly. It's like bends backwards and, and threads his arms down, and says. Uh, he just scratches his, his, his chin and says, uh, It's been a long journey. You wouldn't have to have any wine, would you? Uh, well, of course. I'm sure if uh, my host policy here can rustle up some wine. He, he basically says, who, who is this man? He just jumped in through the window. And, I, I'm going to get the guards. And he like, goes to like, walk past you. Okay. I, just, I, just, uh, I grab his shoulder and go, He's a friend of mine. An influential friend of mine, sort of in a lower voice. He just he just looks at Hassan and Hassan just gives him his w most winning winningest smile and he goes, right, I'll 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 be in my staterooms and he I'll leave you two alone. Uh, I'll have refreshment sent in and he, he walks away and slams the door and and uh, Hassan turns around and says, uh, rather jowly fellow, isn't he? Yeah. Well, when you live a subsist when you live the life of power and wealth. Exercise isn't the first thing that comes to mind. Hmm. He, sa he says, uh, "Yeah." Uh, he, he just like you can see him just thinking, thinking it over, and then you 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 hit you. The whole room goes cold all of a sudden, and you see like another figure just clambering in through the window. But he looks like like ether real, you know, like he doesn't look like he's uh, he, he's uh, he's there at all. And and you know it's it's, it's purse like from the guy you saw before when he comes in. And, and Perse just comes over and starts like wandering around and just like absentmindedly just, just plicking the loot, just like you know that he's got. And uh, Hassan doesn't seem that bothered at all. He seems quite quite. He doesn't even pay pay much mind. You may com comment on that if you want. You. No. I, I sort of look over and go, Ah, Perse, our spiritual friend. Yeah. yeah How's uh, it going? Hassan, uh, Hassan just says uh, he doesn't really speak much anymore. He, he's, Gone quiet. I don't know why. And he says, uh, "But I don't know. I've, I've, I've gotten used to it in my own time. I've, I've learned to deal with it." And and Percy turns around and goes, uh, "No, you made peace with yourself." And like I like start like strumming his lute more. And he goes, "Yes, I suppose so." And and you turn around, and you look at Hassan. He look does look a lot brighter. He doesn't look like as much. Last time you saw him, he looked older because he was hunched over and he just couldn't. You know what I mean? He, he actually yeah. looked like he had greying hair and yellowish eyes. And but now he looks like he's been. Like he's been out in the field again, and he actually says, you know, I, I've I've taken on a few jobs just to keep the old skills sharp, and you can tell like the jobs just sort of burn the fat from him, and he looks like a forty-five-year-old killing machine, basically. You know, he looks really like, uh, and he says, uh, he said, look, I'm in I'm in Reverine for a job, and uh, the job's completed now, so uh, we're I'm coming to stop over for the night. Uh, I have a favour to ask, first and foremost. Um, I will be leaving Reverine in a couple of weeks. I would like to take your ship back to uh, back to Kelstown, if it's available for, for hire. Uh, I'm sure I can speak to Hoshi. We can be arranged. So good, good. And and if not, you needn't worry yourself. I'll find some other way back. He says, I actually have news, and uh, quite a bit of it, actually. So, uh, I've done some digging. Or... Oh. One of my many, uh, many agents has done some digging. Lucille, uh, she infiltrated the inner sanctum of uh, Etios Karim to be succinct. And, well, let's just say the uh, news is troubling. The last report I got back from her was that she'd been poisoned. And she wasn't going to make it for much longer, and I've not heard anything from her since. 
She was one of my best agents, actually, so uh, her loss is keenly felt in my organization, to say the least. But I have some answers for you. And he, he, he motions to the uh, desk in front of you and to the wine. So he's, like, looking quite parched. I'll, I'll uh, pause both a glass and uh, hand it to him. Right. So he says, um, he just swills it around and then takes a, a sip and then uh, he says, uh, Joe, are you sure you wouldn't want your companions to be present for this? Like, I've got to be honest, I don't even know where they are. He says, ah, like old times. And then just like, <laughs> starts like swilling his, uh, he says, I seldom knew where my friends were. Uh, well, I say friends. <laughs> uh, Anyway, and he just like just starts um, swilling his drink, wow. and he says, um, "So, Etios Carrion. From what I know, he's been leading a group called the Last Legion, an organization that he, he, he's basically reading it from a sheet of paper he's got in front of him. Yeah. Because that's what I'm doing. Um, uh, an organization that is shadowing the Valenrethian Council and its Silver Legion, gaining influence all the time, gaining influence, paying people off, you know, forging alliances, that sort of thing." So, from what we know of it, the Last Legion is a secret organization dedicated to making sure a return of the time of the Emperors and a conquest returns to Valenreath, and a new Valen is built. Uh, my agents believe that Carrion wants to control Valenreath, Valenreath rather than being the visible ruler, as the last time he tried that he was assassinated quite quickly. Um, he says, uh, However, a news of Karin's return is now not exactly a secret. It's actually being spread by his followers, and I think this may have something to do with why the vote's been delayed by several weeks. Uh, the ministers are in a blind panic at the moment with the news that he's back. Uh, yes, that would make sense. Yeah, he says that, but I have it on good authority that two members of the council are vying uh, for control as Archon, which is the obviously the office that Karin himself founded. Uh, one is Decius, who is an actual descendant of Carrion, and the other is Crassus, who leads the merchant New Wealth in the city. Those are the two uh, minist ministers of Valmry that you should be looking out for when you go to the palace in a few days. And then you, you, you basically arch an eyebrow at him, because you shouldn't really know that information, and he just like taps his nose twice. And um, he says, uh, The only other thing I have is that Etios Carrion has been sighted at the old capital of Emberhold. Uh, he destroyed that city over over four centuries ago, so what he's doing there, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. But you, if you want to stop him, you, Magnus, and all the rest of you have to make sure the council see the truth of his return, because a lot of them are just plainly denying it. Okay? And you, sh you should probably lead an army up there to stop him. You'll be needing it. He says, the final bit of news I have, and flicks it over, he says, uh, concerns yourself. Oh. He says, uh, <sighs> Lucille heard a number of things, uh, the most troubling of which is something called the Awakening. She doesn't know what it does, but it's all Marion talks about is, the, is summoning and casting the Awakening. He says it will change the world forever. <coughs> Just to It'll be a branching point in the history from what he calls it. And apparently he needs the staff of Diocletian, and he points at your staff. Uh, because you stole that from him, and he raves and rants about it still to this day. He says, he says um, it's the key to his plans and also the key, the key to his destruction, because from what Lucille has gathered before she died, without that staff he can't move forward in his plan. However, it appears to be his only weakness, because he needs it. It's the only thing, really, that's keeping you off from being killed. Because he needs that staff. Yes. Yes. Well, we certainly have a lot to think about. He says, you do, but uh, uh, I need a bath. A very, very long bath. Do you, uh, can you re like recommend a bath house nearby? I go, actually, the, uh, the villa here has a, a very nice bathhouse. Hmm. Okay, he's uh, he says, uh, well, no one shall see me bathing. It's fine, and he stands up and just uh, gives you a, a liquid, over the top bow. And he says, uh, uh, come, Purse, and Purse goes right, right, and it's like walks up behind him, and he goes, um, I sand vanish, and like throws the thing down on the floor and just disappears. And he has to pull the smoke. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
crack a chuckle at that, and then sort of sit down to contemplate what I have heard. Okay. Um, what do you want to do with the news? Do you want to... Actually, we'll leave you there for a second. Um, uh, Logan, Hoshi, and Rezon, you guys are downstairs in the in the, the main canteen. You know, it, it, you're not allowed to eat with the lord and, of the house, but you are allowed to eat in like the pantry and stuff. So you're just like gulping down some ale and you know that 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 Logan's had procured and just chilling out. What are you guys talking about, if anything? Um. Well, I'd probably be talking about how good the ale is. Huh? Good. Can I roll to see how good the ale is? Yeah, yeah. I'd probably be talking about that, to be honest. It's almost half decent. All the audio and is just saying, I fucking love this ale. You know, this is brilliant. And like Hoshi and Rezon like start talking about politics and like really intertwining subjects that are, you know, really, you know, heavy stuff. Then you just cut in every now and again with this fucking ale is amazing. And then you just carry on drinking it. Future If Rezon was talking oh, about politics, it'd be more along the lines of, you know, trying to figure out who's kill uh, like what he knows about them as far as who's trying to kill us is concerned, rather than actually talking about politics. Yeah. All right, we'll do that. It's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. Have we found out much about the other, the the ministers? That's not to me. I don't think so. Okay, good. I haven't heard about. Um, I haven't heard from Magnus in, in days. So, I mean, he's been searching, but I haven't heard anything from him. But um, I'm sure we'll learn more when we go to this this ball that we've been invited to. Um, should be a wealth of information there, hopefully. As long as we don't get ourselves killed, of course. Of course. And you can help us with that, Rosen, you know. Don't you? Just just stay just stay on the lowdown. Just just this once, okay? For me. <laughs> hey, I've been keeping the you know I've been keeping myself for a while now. I'm not getting involved in any more of this craziness. Well, like last time last time we did anything, you killed a guy in yeah, you know, in an open arena. Yeah, well, you, you kill a man. You kill a man people. not two weeks ago. I don't think you can really be saying yet that you're keeping yourself to yourself. Yeah, since then. Hmm. Well, good since job. Then. Well, I, uh, by the way, at this point, I would have told you guys that um, that the reason he got the reason he was there, and the reason he was kicked out, was because he was accused of conspiring with the Valenrathians. Yeah. You know, like what the other guy, the this the guy had told me. So it's, you know, you guys would know that he's probably the reason why we had Stormbreaker setting assassins at us. Who's this? Wait, we would know that or we wouldn't know that? Yeah, yeah, I would have told you guys that by now. Well, yeah, but that's still no good reason to kill him in open combat. Oh, why? Okay. In, a, in a tournament situation. You... I wasn't trying to kill him. It was the intense fight. Mm, you sliced his head clean off. <laughs> You forget how she this this sort of thing comes naturally to Rezon. I mean, it's it's just like lifting his finger. It's it's all the same to him. You just you just have to understand and move on. Mm, so, I, mean, I suppose you're right. Bite. <laughs> In the Ooh, head. Popped his head off. Oh well. Oh, oh dear. I suppose I have to get a new one. Hoshi, um, how's the ship looking? I haven't been down to it in a, in a few days. Good. I've so been getting reports from the crew. Everything's fine. They're perfectly happy. Of course, we're paying okay. them to lounge around at the moment, so of course they're happy. That's true. That's true. All right, so we'll go back to uh, Magnus in his room. Um, so Magnus, you're sitting at your desk, and you can feel like a chill from the uh, from the window, and you can. Do you, do, do you want you're thinking like a lot rests on your shoulders, like the fate of a lot of people is probably going to be on those rickety mm. old shoulders. Well, very young shoulders at this point in time. So. Um, what are you thinking about doing? I'm thinking of trying to communicate with Etius. Okay. Using my special mind powers, which I now apparently have. Okay. Um, roll a binding check. Uh, roll ten minus. Uh, they don't know yet, Resin. They don't know that he's. No one knows. Oh, that he's that he's young again. Oh, no, he's young again. Oh, oh yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no one gave a shit about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna make you roll three more, please, just in quick succession. Uh, 
Who won no. the, the battle between... Sorry, just off topic. Who won the towel battle by now? Oh, I did. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I, I knew I was taking cheese, because I just wanted to try it and see how bad it was, and yeah. I found out it was very, very bad. Very, very bad. Yeah. Alright, so. um... So you succeed in all, all those, so, uh... It's almost like the Palantir from, uh... Lord of the Rings, you know, you can just... You, but it's in your head. So, yeah. so all of a sudden, you, the sky above the house just goes a little bit darker, and the sun just goes down just a little bit quicker, and things get really cold in the room. And uh, you just you sit there and you have your arms on the your on the arms of the chair, just like gripping the arms of the chair. And finally, you you feel the presence of Carrion, the little shard of himself that's in your head, is like awaken. And he doesn't say anything. He's just there, just you know, looking at you. But you can tell he, he's sentient. He's there. You can yeah. Okay. So let's go like Etius. I need to ask your intentions. He says, well, my intention right now is to drink this lovely bit of Valenrithian Red. I mean, what is the grand plan here? Are we really going to rebuild the Empire as old? I'll be honest, Magnus, my old friend, when you first contact, contacted me, I thought this may be a prank call and you were masturbating or something. But since you are now asking sensible questions, Says my only desire is the greatness of Valenry. That's all will always be my desire. I don't want to be the man sitting on the throne. I want to be the man advising the man on the throne. And I believe in Logan. I've been watching him since he's joined. Well, since I've had Arabed watching him since he was a boy. It's no accident that you people were invited and joined for the Black Banners at that, that time. You know? He... Mm. I, I think I found the best candidate, the most pliant candidate, to take control. And I would agree. I believe you and I, we've had our differences, I'll grant you, but I think when I saw you on that hill, Lo and behold, I despaired. I believed you were the key to returning us to greatness. Now I think, I think that time has come. He says, well, sacrifices must be made, Magnus. That the status quo, as it is, cannot be left on, to churn on unchecked. This empire has a rotten heart, and it's a heart that needs to be cut out as the cancerous beast that it, is, that it is, and replaced with a new, direct constitution given to Valenry from the sky. If you bring Logan with you to Emberhold, we'll see what we'll see what can be done about putting him on the throne. As long as the people do not suffer, he says, I am with you. He says, as long as they, <laughs> he says, as long as they do not stand in, in our way, there is no no need for Valenrithian blood to be spilt. But, uh, but he, he he sort of thinks for a while and he says, uh, um, so yeah, he, he he basically says, um, you know, I've I've been laying the groundwork for this for centuries. You know, this is not. I know. I know full well what you were looking at before, and I can tell you now. Logan is the only heir of Sarpedon still walking this earth. Those other families are dead because I made sure that there would be no more pretenders other than Logan coming to the throne. Sound move, certainly. Hmm. So, go to the whatever sort of ceremonies you have planned in Reverie. But if you want this plan to succeed, if you want a pliant soul with the blood of Sarpedon tr coursing through his veins on the throne, you bring Logan here. It'll be done. He 
He says, um, we don't. He says, uh, times are changing. Times are changing. You know, think think you the Spire Church will cast out binding users when all they have left are binding users? I don't think so. I, I, I think the rights of Valenreath are due to spread all over this earth. For the good of all. Hmm. You, you, can, you can almost see, see him raising his glass and then he just disappears. Like a... And I'll sort of raise my glasses, say, for the good of all. And, he and just drink. Then he just disappears. Well, and with that, I will. Oh, uh, do another binding check. Oh, no, uh... this is this. Nothing bad's gonna happen. I'm just gonna try and see what you can sense. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, so you can sense that. Uh, do, you, do you know when you're you're communing with somebody like that? You like. Yeah. Um, it's like you get a sense of presence, like in, in the void. And your presence yeah. is what you can feel, but his presence is like a sun now. Is it literally like a burning sun in front of you? And so you were just like, well, fuck. Because, you know, he, he's returned to his... Karin's returned to even more powerful than he was. He's, he's you know, ridiculously powerful yeah. at this moment in time. So you get that. You, you sense that. Well, I'll... Uh... Get up to try and find the others. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, they are downstairs in the mess, in the you know the, the pantry, just just chuckling and having a few drinks. Well, uh, I'll sort of sit. I'll sort of go, gentlemen, a word. I'm just going to look worriedly at the other two and um, get up and, and step out. I'm just gonna. Well, I was just gonna turn and look at him. So, what is it? I'm gonna walk out of the room because he said gentleman. So I'm assuming. <laughs> I, 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 I look at Hoshi. Oh, oh for pity's sake! Get back here, Hoshi. Come on, come on. All right. If it helps, gentlemen and great, noble, and magnificent ladies. I'm just gonna raise my eyebrows. <laughs> you just can't. You just can't do things by half, can you? <laughs> I sort of, I flick at Sarah and go, no, no, I cannot. And then I'll say, what were you going to say? Where do you guys want to be? Do you want to do this and do you want to talk in the study or? Yeah, I'll just talk in like hushed tones. Okay. Yeah. I just, I also say, I had a visit from our our friend, Hassan. He's uh, given me some information. Apparently. There have been sightings of our good friend Etius in Emberhold, the old capital of the Empire. And he's suggested that if we want to find out what's happening, what his plan is, that we go there. Is that a good idea? I mean, now that he's in Emberhold, that must mean that he's coming to the end of his plan, that he's fairly confident. You know, having summoned us there. How worry. can we? How can we know that? We don't even know what the plan is. If well, we... sorry, go on. I, I say we we go, even if we don't reveal ourselves. We can at least find out what he's doing there, what the grand scheme is. I think that's uh, an incredibly dangerous idea. <laughs> you have better think... ideas. Steer well clear. And wait well, for him to execute whatever plan it is and come after us. So we can stay clear all we want. It's only going to delay the inevitable. Eventually exactly. we're going to have to deal with them. Exactly. Well, let's think about this. Is, well, is Karen expecting all of us? I mean... Could not some of us go, you know, in the front door, so to speak, and some of us play it more covertly? Hmm. It's not a bad idea, actually. <laughs> you sound so surprised. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 sort of does, look, I sort of look at Logan like, huh. I, I, I do look like quite pleased with you. So. I'm like, oh, that's okay. going to be a haunting look, isn't it? Oh, fucking hell. I'm, going to be like, <laughs> I'm going to be like, well, 
how about you and I, Logan? I'll leave my staff with the other two, and then we go in together. And if shit hits the fan, the other two can either save our asses or get the hell out of there. And how will we know when shit's hitting the fan? <laughs> I imagine there'll be some pretty audible and visual signs. Are, like are you talking about when you're in Ember other... Hold here? No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, well, I don't plan to go down with a fight resin, so I imagine the uh, the sight of our duel will be a pretty spectacular one. I if suppose. not short. <laughs> Something tells me that once we make our way to Emberhold, there isn't going to be much room for us to escape if that uh, things go badly. It might be better for just uh, for all of us to just uh, go ahead together. Hmm. That would... Well, I'm impartial either way. Whatever you feel is best. I just, all I, I say just is that we go it. to Emberhold. We find out what the plan is. I'll, I'll be 30 seconds. Uh, carry on. Well, Reson Hoshi, you do whatever you feel comfortable with. I mean, I I don't mind going in the front door. You know, that's my kind of style. But you know, I just thought it would it might be unnecessary to expose all of us to Karen's wrath and directly. You know, um, you know, I didn't want to de deprive you of the option. Well, you never know. We might we might learn more that way. Splitting up. We might not do that. As you say, actually. Well, did Hassan say anything else about Amber Hole? <laughs> Other than it just being there? No. But I, I'm familiar with the city. I lived there in its time of golden age. Wait, how does how does um, Hassan know all this? Does he have <laughs> agents there in Amber Hole? Or did he tell you? Well, apparently he had an agent in there, but she recently was poisoned and uh, will not be able to aid us. Hmm. Oh, that's concerning. Hey, I'm back. So, yeah, what was decided? I was still discussing it. Well, well, you don't need to really to decide anything now. It's quite a way away when you if you go to Ember Hall, so... It's, uh... yeah. Okay. I, just, I was going to say, um, you know, in any case, we should probably be a little overcautious on this, because... I don't really particularly feel like running into this guy and then having him, well, do the th what he does. Well, that's right. exactly. So, um, the more you guys head to bed that night, and uh, the morning comes with a shrill knock on your doors as attendants come and uh, offer you uh, uh, Valenrethian uh, rosettes, which you're supposed to like put a place over your. They're sort of like um, like a sash, but it goes over your right shoulder and it basically permits you entry to the uh, deliberations and the actual devoting for the ninth minister of Alnreath is actually it takes part in a party of sorts like a you know like a ball and you guys are all ushered out and and uh, Paulus is there in a in a chariot and he, he invites one of you to uh he, well, he gestures to you all to get into a chariot, but it's, it's, it's apparent that only one of you is going to fit in it. So. <laughs> I sort of look at the others and go, hmm, anyone want to take a chariot ride? Not with me. As would I. Let's walk together, shall we? It'll be a nice, yeah. nice quiet oh, time. Nice, leisurely stroll. Why not? Okay. Um, I'll, start, I'll sort of Decline the way. He, he, he calls Sorry. out to Magnus and he says, uh, "Surely you would have to. You want to see Reverine from up here, not not the street level with all the mucky muck." I, I still go. Sure, sure. And then I'll turn to the others and go. I may have promised that I'd short talk him up or something. I guess I have. I have to go. Just uh, walk on with that. A resident's gonna say good luck <laughs> and chuckle. Yeah, I'm also going to chuckle and go. Yeah, I'll need it. Okay. And then step into the chariot. The palace that you guys are going to is uh, like this. It's, it's it's nice Roman style. You know, it's a, it's a uh, Latin style. 
uh, with a river running straight through it. So the river that it feeds the city basically runs straight through this thing. And you can see this. This is called a ministerial palace. So you can see the um, the arena in the distance there. Uh, thank you for to Jamie Jasso for giving me for for doing this. It's a really cool picture. Um, but yeah, you can see the arena in the distance where you guys were fighting the other day. And Ooh. you now make your way up to this really monolith of marble sticking outside of the countryside. Um, this is like the only grassy bit of the city, like the rest of it over here. It doesn't actually look like this. This is all built up in my mind. So all of this, this isn't, you know, all of this is built up. But it has this like one tiny mountain range with uh, in which the palace is built. And this isn't the Imperial Palace. The Imperial Palace is across the way where the Emperor resides, but there is no Emperor, so it's just left over to um, libraries and gardens and things like that. And uh, visitors of state, they stay there. Uh, and this is basically the Valenrethian version of the Senate House. So, as I said, okay. Rome on steroids. Uh, because the Senate House really is like a little, little hut. It's not even that big if you go and see it now. It's really depressing the way it looks, but this is, you know... Um, and whilst the chariots are going through, people are like throwing roses at, uh, at Paulus and you know, blessing his name and stuff like that. And he turns to uh, to Magnus and he says, uh, "You see your friends?" And uh, the the you you pan your gaze over Magnus and you see like Resin and Logan are, are getting pats on the back and like like women are just throwing themselves onto them and like and, and things like that and just like after what they did in the arena and stuff, it still hasn't gone down. You know, it, it's the they're heroes. The most of the people who saw it and. Yeah, the unrumor spread, you know. And he's saying, uh, they're calling them the Brothers of Mercy. And he just chuckles to himself. And he says, the mob are fickle. Uh, I'll tell you, they're very, very fickle. Hmm. <laughs> Definitely. And he says, Def um, I made some inquiries last night. In, in a quiet tone, he says, uh, I can now, if you promise to help me today, offer you my legion. As the Ninth Minister... Of Valenreath, I will have the Ninth Legion um, under my command. I will pass it to you, or whoever you deem appropriate to for it to be under the command of, for your personal protection. I know you're having troubles, and uh, I, I have ears all over my house. I know you're having troubles, and I know that these certain events at Emberhold have everyone in a spin at the moment, and I know that some of you may be caught up with that. Having a legion between you and the enemy might prove advantageous, so to speak. Hmm. Certainly would. No. I'll uh, definitely have to give this some thought. And I'll sort of flash him a smile. He says, he says good. And after a while, uh, you, you are in the palace itself. So you guys are all in the courtyard, milling around. Um, generally, you know, just having a decent time. And... Let me just sort myself out here. Okay. So, you guys are in the palace itself, just chilling out at the party. You've been let in and stuff like that. Uh, the first round of voting hasn't happened yet. So, you guys can mill around and do whatever you want to do. Go for it. Like, there, there are people... It's quite a packed place. You know, there are people all around. All nobles. And they hired help as well, you know. So every and every it seems calm. Everyone seems, you know, nice and happy. So, what um, what language is everyone speaking in? Um, Valenrethian. Everyone speaking Valenrethian. Okay. So, I would have you know a little bit of an idea. You and you know very, you know what they're saying. You 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 can you know what they're saying. It's fine. You, you can you just need. Um, a, a, a helper to it's like like you know when you see a Spanish footballer speaking English. Go mm. see, see, I scored a goal, yes, you know that sort of thing. It's kind of like that. Yeah. So, okay. right. so you know exactly what's but, being said to you, just articulating it back is a bit. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm I'm personally not keen to run off. I don't know whether Magnus will have stayed with Polis, whether he will have come back. Mm. So, uh, I'll happens. I'll I'll stick with Polis and sort of. I guess I'll keep up my end of the bargain, just sort of like in conversation, sort of big him up and you know talk clever so that it sounds like you know he's friends with intelligent people and you know 
all those yeah. sorts of things. Alright, yeah. um, what's Hoshi doing? Um, Hoshi's just kind of standing around a bit awkwardly. She doesn't really know what to... Like, she doesn't really speak any of the language. So she's kind of just like, ugh, what's going on? Um, mm. like, trying to catch a... Trying to catch a word with, uh, you know, one of the others when she can, just to sort of, you know, not look like she's just standing doing nothing. Okay. Um, uh, Logan, you overhear that uh, the... Folks with the blue sashes, those are the lords, the, the ministers of Valenreath who are casting their votes. And they basically peruse the the attitude of all the lords who have made the, the journey there to before they cast their vote. And you can see them milling around. You can't see uh, the people who've been described as Crassus or Decius yet. You can't okay. see them. I was just about to ask that. Mm. Um I think Logan would probably play dumb. Um so he wouldn't he wouldn't let anyone know that he could actually hear what's going on, but what he would do was walk around with Hoshi and Resmond if he's around, um, and kind of listen in to the um, to the talk around the fringes, um, and kind of relay that to to the others if he hears anything interesting or not. Okay. <clears throat> um, you you guys go uh, you go near Resin, um, and near, near Magnus. Sorry, and Magnus is just there swilling his wine and. You look over and Magnus is like giving you a look of like he's squinting at you, like he's trying to figure figure you out. It's a pretty weird look, and and you you just go over there and just like you know nod to him sort of thing. Uh, Resin's <laughs> keeping an eye on the other ministers. He's trying to figure out um, if you know any of the ministers look you know upset with the fact that we're alive. You know, try to get some hint as to who might be the one who's been trying to kill us. Mm-hmm. Well, you don't see. Everyone seems fine. No one seems to be um, passing glances in your in your direction at this moment in time. Yeah, you seem okay. Um, keep an eye on them in general. Yeah, they do seem pretty uh, relaxed and they're all just drinking there. Um, uh, a, a minister by the name of Titus is nearby, Magnus, and uh, so Magnus and Logan, if you guys want to uh, talk to him, you can. He is. You, you get the sense that it's a social mover, Magnus, that, that he's positioned himself there hoping to get an introduction. Mm-hmm. I'll let Magnus introduce us, because um, it wouldn't it wouldn't do us justice if I tried to do it. So, so uh, yeah, are we are we with Polus? Uh, yes, but he's he's gone off just to uh, peruse the refreshments. And Hoshi and Reson are with us, I presume. Mm-hmm. Sort of. Yeah. So okay. Well, uh, I'll I'll walk over and go. Ah, Titus, my good man. And I'll sort of give a bow. He he uh, is that oh, splendid? I <laughs> I had uh, envisioned uh, one as as distinguished as you would be, uh, gracing us with his presence. Are you, are you are you um? I've heard some very strange rumors. Uh, uh, can I see your rosette? Oh, of course. And I'll uh, I'll pull out my rosette and sort of dangle it before him. He says, ah, yes. He says the Karen family have been lost to us for generations. It's good to see a sign of the house return to us all of a sudden. Yeah. I go, yes. Well, uh, I I wandered for a time, learning the ways of the people. But uh, I sort of I sort of leaning closer. I go. I should have skipped. I should have skipped the kale. He says, I, I totally agree. The barbarians all. Ugh, absolutely. Like, That's... not even one of them respects the binding. It's graceful. That's what you expect. And, and, and you, you, know, keep a straight face on that. You guys are like... Logan's, uh, Logan's going to give Magnus a good slap on the shoulder for that. As, you know, as, like a hearty shot slap. But, yeah. um, so he spills his wine. Mm. I go, I go, aha, I go, aha, Logan, well, he says strong arm on and this he, one. He, uh, Very good fighter. Who, who is this uncouth ruffian do you have in your town? <laughs> I go, this is uh, my good friend Logan Balefire, otherwise known as, uh, oh, what was the, what were the, the rabble calling him? Something, the, Mer- the Merciful Brothers or something. Oh, the, the man from the arena, I, I see, I see. Yes, I, yes. You, you, have a, you have a bigger heart than me, Logan. and I would have split that that resin's head in two without a second glance, with a second thought. 
I had my, when I hear my name, I'm gonna look at him. Yeah. I, I have no idea what he's saying. I just heard my name. Yeah. I'm just gonna kind of give him a look. Logan's like just gonna look puzzled at him, like he doesn't know what he's saying at all. I, 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 I still go, ah, he's, a, he's, he's been in meat. Meat in. It's not 100%, but I'm teaching him. He's willing to learn, as any intelligent man would be. Hey, so tell me, uh, Lord Magnus, who, who will you be casting your vote for today? I go, ah, I sort of turn and go, well, my uh, good friend Polus here, he's been more than generous in putting me up with a place to stay, and he's spoken to me, and uh, I believe he's a worthy candidate. He says, uh, ah, yes, for a merchant or a fishmonger, he certainly, if I ever wish to purchase a salmon or a place, I, I know where to find him, but uh, as a minister of Valenreath, surely not. I, I'm going to chuckle. And just go, as a leader, just go, truth be told, I told him that for the chariot ride. <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> he, uh, he says, uh, so, so, you wouldn't, so you're not going to vote for, uh, <laughs> for Polis, then? Okay. For all intensive purposes, I shall seem to be doing so. Whether I do or not, whether my vote gets perhaps lost or confused, who knows? Hmm. He says, and you, Keldanian, uh, if you had a vote here today, obviously you don't, because you're a barbarian and <laughs> filthy, stinking, binding, denying barbarian, but who would you be voting for? You could translate, Magnus, translate for this. Yeah, I'll, I'll play into Logan's little scheme he's got going and translate what he's saying to him as if he can't understand it. Okay. Mate, um, Logan's going to nod his thanks to Magnus. Um, he's going to say... I wouldn't vote. I don't think it's right for people like us, you, sorry, you to vote, not like ruffians like me, but shouldn't it be devolved to the people? Shouldn't they have a say in this? <laughs> he says, uh, what was that? I, I sort of translate what he said to him. He, he, he literally just, uh, he, you know, he looks horrified, and he, he, he just like, can't let the people have a, have a have a choice, have a vote. My God, these are the same people who lynch people on the streets all the time. And this is this right here. That's why Caldanian Caldanian is in the state it is. I, I I swear I swear. Well, Magnus, I I will look into voting for your for your policy. Seems like a jovial fellow and pliable, very pliable. Oh, absolutely pliable. Yes. Because I, I will I will go and see him and see how. Uh, if he wants to vote on my reform for more cheap olives in the grain markets. As I say, I'm sure if you ask him nicely, he'll probably agree. Yeah, he, he, he leaves and... Uh, I'm gonna... You guys successfully have passed uh, vote one. Voting one happens, and Polis is not knocked out in the first round of voting. And so we didn't now, get murdered. No, you didn't get murdered. Uh, you guys all stayed quiet and... Uh, Yay! Um... Yay. Result. After a while, the, the vote's announced, and Polis like comes over, all, all jowls of twitching, to uh, Hoshi, and says, uh, "Oh, my, my dear, my dear, I, I must introduce you to some of my colleagues," and, and tries to grab your arm and pull you away from, from where you're standing. Um, okay. He says, says, says uh, he goes over to. Uh, I, I pull my arm away. <laughs> I'm not gonna have him. Okay. Grab me. Yeah, he's like. Uh, he says, oh, he brings you over to some of his friends and says, uh, this uh, exotic, precious flower is the the light of my world. Yes, yes. And again, and they say, uh, oh, so this is the, the person you've been... Uh... And he says, well... And he looks at Hoshi and sort of ga gauges whether you can understand what he's saying or not, and he goes... And he it comes like an affirmation, and he turns around and goes, yes, totally, every night, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have no idea what's going on because no. I, don't, I don't understand. Uh, I understand what he's saying. So I, I say to him, "What are you? What are you saying to them?" Uh, he, he turns around and says, "Oh, I'm just telling uh, telling them about the ship that you uh, that you have." And, and, and you, you turn around to the other people, and they're, they're like making like rude gestures. And one of them is like the universal symbol for fucking as well. All right, perception check. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what's this guy up to? Sense motive. Yeah, do it. Uh, My perception is ten. Okay, yeah. So, so you um, definitely know what's going on. 
You're like, right, okay. I swear at him in men shy and walk away. He says, uh, <laughs> such a such a passionate flower is my petite flower, and uh, I I will return momentarily, and then he, he just uh, goes in the opposite direction to where you walked. So um, while you're I'm walking, gonna him, I'm going to go back to Raison and just tell him about how much of a scumbag he's been. Okay. Raison's going to laugh. He'd... Because Reson's the only other person not like just sort of, you know, mingling. Okay. Um, all of you can see. I'm not going to make you do uh, perception checks, but you can all see uh, there are two men there who are armed, uh, apart from you, and they're in um, um, almost skin tight Lorica segmentum armor that the legions wear, but it's like pure black, and they have uh, black cloaks on with like a single white line down the middle of it and they have Corinthian helmets with like black plumes on them and they're just standing with their, their arms resting on the the pommels of the swords just like uh, which are on up the sides they look pretty pretty mean but uh, they're both uh, standing near Magnus at this stage well uh, I'm, I'm aware of these guys but I know nothing's gonna go down in the middle of the council chambers. No. Well, I, I think that anyway. So I'm just gonna sort of turn to Logan and uh I'm gonna say So what do you think of all this? I think it's worrying. Um but obviously you wouldn't listen to me, you know. My my opinion doesn't count. Okay. I think, oh, I, I think absolutely this is... agree, Logan. What the councillors, what they stand for, it's despicable. The people are who make the Empire. Not them. The Empire? That's the first I've heard you mention the Empire, Magnus. Is... <sighs> it's a subject which troubles me, Rio, with these degenerates, power-hungry fools grabbing, the, grabbing at power like they know what they're doing. If Does only... That sound a little bit like, like Etios. Is this, you haven't had a change of heart, have you? I go, I have always had these opinions. Edgeus, he shared some of my opinions, but he was just like the rest of them deep down. He was just a power grabber. He wanted to be in charge. I couldn't stand by it. And we therefore had the argument which led to him, you know, not liking me very much. Okay, I believe you, but just be careful, okay? Just for me. Don't let him get you, because it's, you know, he's, he's very persuasive, you know that of all people. Mm. Yes, well, I go, what if there was something you could do? Like, would you be willing? Like, would you want to see the people have a say here? Would you care? Of course I care. I wouldn't voice my opinions openly like that to a you know, a, a lord of Valenruth, if I didn't care, and I, I'm sure Reson, well, not so much Reson, but Hoshi feels exactly the same way. <laughs> Reson caring about politics. Yeah, yeah. I, sort of, I sort of look at Logan and go, you know, I may mock you for being noble, but... Yes, you do. <laughs> I must, I must be honest. You're a good man, Logan. And I'm just gonna sort of walk away. Okay. Logan's just going to mutter under his breath. Not a bad man. Uh, but before, before you can walk away, Magnus, um, one of the uh, the armoured fellows turns around, walks into your back accident, and says, oh, Sorry, friend, sorry. Um, who who are just, you? Yeah. I, I just sort of like, get flustered for a moment. I'm just like, like, Who would you be to ask me such a question? The man who's just barged into me as I walked. He bows and uh, basically says, um, "I'm sorry, my lord. Uh, my name, my name is Gracchus, of the Youthbound." And, like bows, and you can hear like clinks of his armor, and you, you sort of like you can feel like the rippling energy of the binding like washing over this uh, from this guy, and you're like, "Oh, okay, not to be fucked with. I get it." This sort of thing in you. Yeah. His, his bow is a bit too low to be genuine. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit too much yeah. pandering there. Too genuine. All right. Well. I'll go, you may cut the formalities, and my name is Magnus. He says, uh, there, there's some, there's some spite, and he, he turns around to his friend and says, and, uh, calls him over. 
and his friend comes to him and he says, uh, this here is a Helikion. Like, uh, and uh, Helikion just like looks up and and he's looking at an orb in his hands, which is like glowing orange. Uh, do I know what that is? Uh, no, but you can ask. And uh, I'll sort of go, that is an interesting trinket you have there. What is it? He says, yes, we're, uh, well, we're part of an order that searches for people of a certain bloodline, and when one is standing nearby, this goes off. But, uh, this makes no sense. There, there is no one here. We, we've already checked everyone out. There is no one here who can set this device off. There's just no... He says, could it be me? No, it couldn't be me. We've, my bloodline's been checked. Sorry, sorry, I'm distracted for a moment. I've, um, I... Yeah. Hmm. I'm curious. So whose bloodline are you searching for? Both, both, both of these guys is like these guys are like in the full armor. They stand about six foot seven, something like that. You know, they're pretty, mm -hmm. and they just like look at each other. Like, uh, says, and why would you want to know that? I'm like, <laughs> well, I see two armored and obviously very talented individuals at a party full of ministers carrying around an orb talking about bloodlines that they're looking for. Well, if you wanted to find a bloodline, this is the room to do it in. So I'm curious as to who you would be looking for that you could not find. He says, yes, the, the lords of... Well, the ministers of Valenreath, they tolerate our presence because they have to be seen to want to return to the old to the old days. The people won't have it any other way. But uh, they, to be honest with you, they tolerate our presence. They don't actually want us here, which is why we're not really to speak of our mission to, to anyone here. Even though most of them, if they're Valmrithian, know what we're doing. But uh, this makes no sense at all. Hmm. Well, if you're not going to tell me, then all I can do is simply wish you luck. Uh, they, they look at each other and says, uh, and they say, uh, uh, and they, they turn around and like, like what one of them might pick, pluck some wine and just downs it, and says. Uh, all right, all right. We'll level with you. He says, uh, "We're members of the Oathbound, as I've said. We're patriots from the, from from within the, the Silver Legion that saw the destruction of Emberhold over four centuries ago. We are hereditary. The sons in our families carry on our name. So, um, our forebears swore to like to leave the Legion when Emberhold was destroyed." Find the true heirs to the Valenrethian throne, those of the of its greatest emperor, Sarpedon. Yeah. That's what we're doing here. Ah, a very noble pursuit, certainly. And that is why we're universally unliked by the Nine Ministers, because of course, any return of any emperor will surely herald a diminish of their power, so... Wow, absolutely. Not that that would be a bad thing. No. That's a flash of winning smile. Says, in a lower voice. He he just he just smiles and nods and says, uh, I see you're of a like mind. <laughs> and uh he basically says, um All I all I know is every time some of our agents get close to an heir, they disappear. They they leave they're just not there anymore. Them, their families, just gone. We we know the last one sailed for the end across the endless endless ocean uh, em, uh, the endless ocean a few centuries ago and has never been never been heard from again. That was the last one in a public light. Oh. There you go. Well, that's unfortunate. Mm. And I'll, I'll, sort of, I'll sort of glance around and uh, I'll sort of go, if you uh, wouldn't mind joining me, I feel like having some fresh air. He says, certainly. Um, Gracchus, do you want to just stand here and keep this young man company? And like nods towards Logan. And uh, Gracchus uh, looks at the orb, looks at Logan, and goes, I "Yes, I think that may be best." And it's like, and then he turns on the uh, the common tongue and just says, uh, "How how are you?" And get, uh, starts talking to Logan. So we'll leave them just to talk. So Magnus and Helikion, you are pulled aside. You. Are... So I'll sort of make sure no one's around, and then uh, I'll say, "Tell me." What exactly do you plan to do if and when you find this heir of yours? He says, uh, get him out of this snake pit for once, for the first thing. <laughs> and he says, uh, do you know what? In all honesty, we're not really that sure. All we know is that 
we are to try and put him on the throne. But for the first couple of years, that'll probably mean just keeping him safe from people who want him dead. Mm. Until we can actually get enough support to actually have a case to put him on the throne. At the moment, the Lords of Valon Reith control the army, and whoever controls the army controls the throne. What if I was to divulge, say, that there was a plan in motion to find the heir, who has already been found, and to then put him on the throne? How, how would you beat 20 legions each of 30,000 men? This is not, not doable. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a man called Etius Karen. He just looks around and goes, you can't... What? Of course I have. Why? <laughs> well, hmm. Funny, funny story. You see, he is the man orchestrating this plan. And if he is behind the plan, I can guarantee you it will succeed. He says... Let me get this straight. The man who brought down the Emperor's in the first place wants to bring all that back. He realised that he made a catastrophic mistake. Which I told him at the time, but you know, who listens to me, right? But the point is, he's realised that what made the Empire strong wasn't the binding, it was the Emperor's. They were a symbol for the people to follow, and when the people followed, the world trembled. He's realised this. He wants to put the Emperors back on the throne for that reason. The Empire can be great again. Um, he, he basically is taken aback by this and says, uh, he takes his, uh, his helmet off and just like wipes his brow and says, uh, Do you know how difficult it is to believe all of this? Like, we've been searching for centuries and we've not found a single heir. Like, the last one we found disappeared off the edge of the world soon after. What? One, you know, if we found this person, how safe do you think they would stay? I mean, we, we would defend him to the death, but there are only 300 of us. You know? Two, look, we have, we have no means of gathering an army. Three, if if it's Carrion who is leading this assault, who do you... Do you think the people will rally behind a man like that? I they're, think they're, the man... I think the people will rally behind their new emperor. That is who I think they will rally behind. He, he says, I mean, think um, about it. They, they are calling for change. We can give them that change. He basically says... Uh, the Oathbound are sworn to serve, serve the Emperor and no one else. If this era of Sarpedon wants to work with Carrion, we cannot deny deny him or her that that intention. We will help them. For if they do not wish to work with Carrion, then they will go their own way and we will help them forge their own path until they stop breathing. I go, that is a fair agreement. He, 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 then, he then says, so from what you told me, our device going off here is no accident. I go, no, it's not. He says, right. Uh, point out who it is who, that we're looking at. I still go, ah, it's the young man you left your companion talking to. He says, he just, he just looks back and they're, they're just like jovially, you know, uh, Gracchus and Logan is like jovially having a, having a good laugh, you know, just like over, over a few wines. He says, uh, right, right, uh, well leave this with me, and, uh, we, we will stay close by and can keep you both safe, alright? I'll sit by my head. <clears throat> he, he moves away and, uh, pulls Gracchus away with, like, a, a look of fear and wonder on his face when he looks at Logan, sort of thing. And, uh, Logan's, like, visibly perturbed, like, what the fuck? Mm. Uh, Oshin Reson, you've, you've seen all this happen. Like on the sidelines, you guys are just are together, just having a drink, and you've seen this this occur. What would you like to do? But they haven't heard the conversation. Though. No, they haven't heard the conversation. It's good to know. Uh, Re Resin's still more concerned with the the manifestors, and you know, um, 
seeing if there's anybody kind of in the back of the room. You know, just kind of not acting out of character, sort of, you know? No, no, no one's acting out of character. Yeah, he, he's not really paying that much attention to what's going on with um, with Logan and um, Magnus at this point. I mean, nor me, really. Like, I don't, I don't particularly know what Magnus is up to, so it's kind okay. of a case of, like... Well, um, if he cares to tell me like what the what's actually going on, I, I, I would say Polis comes up to to you, Hoshi, and you just like roll your eyes as you know, and get ready to walk away. And he says, he says, um, he, he basically like gets down on one knee and just says, "I am terribly, terribly sorry. I shouldn't have taken advantage of you like that. I just, I need to get the votes I need to be a minister. I need to be popular." And they, that crowd See, um, was very vulgar, and that's what they were like. I, I promise you, I will never use you that way again. I promise you. I'm very sorry. That makes me kind of quite happy. Like I'm glad to see that he's he seems like a he seems like a much better guy than he did before. I say to him like, why why didn't you just tell me that? I'm you know I'd be happy to boost your ego. You just got to tell me what you're actually up to. He he just says, I just. I figured I wouldn't hurt your pride if you didn't know what I was saying. And soon, I, I, you you're... thought wrong. He says, "Yes, I know, I know, I know. I, I, I am wrong, and I, I apologize for that." All right. Well, let's say nothing more about it. He says, "Right, uh, some wine." How's the party going? He, he bring, he brings some wine over. He says, "Good, good. I've, I've made some alliances. I, I think we're, we're good. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there." Uh. From what I heard from your friend Magnus, you you and your friends are in a bit of a situation, correct? You can say that again. He says, well, if you and good Resin over there would go around the party and try and swing some votes for me, if I do become the Ninth Minister, I will swear the Legion that is loyal to me over to you. And I, I swear 30,000 swords should be uh, proficient to keep yourselves safe. 30,000? Yeah, yeah. My god. I don't need them in the city, do I? I mean, that's protection like I never dreamed of. He says, well, uh, give it some thought. I'm going to go and prove some more. And he, he walks away. He says, he says, you might start with that couple over there. Uh, the, from the Merchant's Guild, very high up. Uh, there will be... Uh, voting in the, in the coming round. Um... Okay, I, um, I, I look over and see what Magnus is up to. Okay, uh, you basically catch the end of the conversation that just happened. And that's what we've seen. Okay. Um, well, I mean, that being like, but I mean, is he is he sort of like? Does he seem like he's quite engaged with talking to them? Because I'd I'd probably like to talk he, to him about. He's literally just finished talking to them, so he's on his own. So okay, just well, into space. I, I go up to him and say that um. Is it sorry? Is it Polus? It is yeah, Polus. Polus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Polus. Um, so Magnus, I just, I just spoke to Polus, and he's, he's going to, um, well, I don't really know how to put this other than to just say it straight. He's said he'll promise us an army of thirty thousand swords for our continued loyalty. That is certainly an army. Magnus, we need him to become the minister. Well, need is a strong word, but... Okay, it would be pretty useful. I think you can agree. Very useful, certainly. I've been, I've been talking him up. You know, I've been getting him votes, but I'll redouble my efforts. I'll do the same. Okay. Uh, Hoshi, we'll go with you. And uh, do you want to take Resin with you, or do you want to? Oh, oh Resin was going to grab Logan since the people seem to like us and know us okay. together. I was going to say, you know, just, <laughs> I'd just uh, and Logan's, you know, more. I guess I'll. People. I guess I'll hang with them and also just try and like drive them towards the people that Polis like points out, or just people that generally look like they sort of okay. need a bit of convincing, or would be, yeah. you know, look important basically. Okay. I so, figure, you know, Logan, Logan's the more, you know, uh, diplomatic, shall we say, of okay. the two of us. So, so you guys approach the uh, the couple, the, the two think. men, 
There are two men there who are you know, only men are allowed to have power in Valmary, unlike Kaldanian. So, um, and, and they're standing there just uh, you know, with some wine, and they look over and say, and they go, "Ah, the brothers of mercy and a woman." Uh, so our, our fine, our fine friend Hoshi. She's um, she's responsible for getting us all the way to Rivery and spare our lives. So. They, they, they raise their eyebrows yes. and go, and go, a female captain. Ah. Yeah, and they go, a pleasure. And they they bow. Uh, I I bow back or curtsy or whatever is appropriate. Okay. Um, like, so they they, they basically say, uh, so what can we do for the brothers of Mer Mercy and Hoshi? Well, I've, um, my good friend Magnus, and I'll, I'll motion over to Magnus over there, has, um, has been on a mission of his own over, over the course of the day, and um, we've, we've been trying to, well, I'll put this bluntly, gain support for our friend Polis, and um, we wanted to, I wanted, personally wanted to know how you were going to be voting in the, in the upcoming elections. Oh, the, the, the poison merchant, right. <laughs> and he, he says, oh, don't look so shocked, now the man who bought it from him. But uh, you know, I, I was already going to cast my vote in his, in his way, but my friend Gaius here, and like no nudges to him, says uh, no, no, he, he's he's more in favour of Victorian, who is uh, currently in the in the keep. He's currently up in the uh, perusing up there. Sorry, Gaius is or Gaius is, yeah. Gaius is, he, he's okay. he's in favour of Victorian, who's mm -hmm. also trying to. One of the other lords. So Victorian's the one that's upstairs, but yeah, Gaius yeah, is the yeah. Guys, someone is going to Guys is right there. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. What makes you uh, want to cast your vote that way? He says, "Well, surely you can't deny that Polis is a truly upstanding character." Well, to be fair, my my family and his go back a long way, and uh, I know he's a he's a staunch character who will do what's best for Van Reef. Well, family means much, but sometimes we have to make the difficult decisions to put it aside in favour of what we know is right. Ooh, okay. Um, roll perception for me. Actually, no, roll conning. Sorry, roll conning with your with your pirate hat. Pirate hat! Woo! You <laughs> wearing the pirate hat to the party? Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't take it off. Okay. Um, <laughs> you, it's a zero, isn't it? You, you, yeah, you, you, you sort yeah. of say. What you, what you say all that, you're very conviction, and you, you tip your hat and give him a wink, and he says, he says, yes, that, that's, that's what I've been saying. My, my father wouldn't listen, but you know what? Screw consequences. I'm voting for Paulus. And, and, he, and he, everyone claps him on the back, and he smiles. Uh, and yeah, I give, I just give him a, a good man. Yeah, well done. Yeah, he, he says, well, yeah. It. Rebellion's marvellous, isn't it? And then he's like, yeah. <laughs> like, you can tell this man's like never been outside before. Like he's, you know, he's, he's really like, uh, you know, he's a real tough. Like he's not really been outside of Daddy's mansion for a while. So uh, yeah, you, you guys have got another vote, and the, the second vote passes, right? And uh, Hush comes down over the Imperial compound until finally it's revealed that uh, Paulus has indeed become. Uh, the ninth minister of Elmreath, and he he, yeah. he ascends the stage, the rostrum, and takes the red sash, and uh, bows and stuff, and from Decius and Crassus, and uh, the party begins in earnest. Uh, Decius... as, as we're watching him get it, receive the ceremony, I just sort of like turn to Resin and just say, "We are rich beyond our wildest dreams." <laughs> um. De Deci uh, Decius and Crassus are now in the party, so if you would wish to speak to them, you can. Talk to you. Um, I want to mention, mention something to Wesson, actually. Um, Wesson, the um, Gaius and, um, and the, the couple we met earlier mentioned a, a minister that wasn't at the, the party. I know that you've been looking around for people who haven't really been acting in character. Perhaps that's the minister that we've been looking for. Did he, did he mention the name? I think so. I can't. I can't remember what it is. Um, what is it, Dean? That character. Vic. Uh, what, what? What do you mean? Sorry. Victorian. Uh, oh, 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 Victorian. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he, he's not got the. Uh, he's been outvoted, so he's not the. Uh, you know the. Uh, oh right. So, he, so he was. He was there. 
Yeah. He did turn up initially, but he hasn't yeah. moved now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he's he's around. He's just looking really sullen and, and moody. But um, one other thing strikes you is that uh, uh, in his acceptance speech now, um, Paulus is just uh, just really somber, and in the end says, uh, "And I would like to thank four friends." And he names you all by name. And he says, uh, "I hereby initiate all of them." as honorary members of the Silver Legion and they all like give you like a, a warm round of applause and he says uh, I would invite the only knight of the party to the rostrum as I've turned to uh, Logan and to usher a hand towards the stage I would pat him on the back and kind of push him towards it Logan looks, looks a bit um, a bit taken aback at that but he'll go up to the rostrum and so, I'm hardly surprised by it <clears throat> he, he turns around and uh presents you with a, it's like a uh, band that goes around your head of gold. He says, this is the Imperium. He says it, uh, it allows you to command a Roman, uh, not Roman, it allows you to, to command a Valmrethian legion in the field. Like, places it, and he goes, uh, you're now the commander of the Ninth Legion. He goes, uh, Con Concordia, and everyone just, re just re repeats the word Concordia, including Magnus, but no one else does. They're like, what? Um... <laughs> So you you no, 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 Logan, you look like a bit bashful, and like right, okay. <laughs> I just sort of like look at him, and then uh, Logan's gonna give him like a, an uncertain bow, and kind of not really sure what what just happened, but um, yeah, and sort of stand there awkwardly. He says, um, bear, and he says in quiet tones as he shakes your hand, he goes, bear in mind, I may need to call on you at some point. <laughs> yeah, and he goes, a smile, smile, and then says, uh, and now now turn to the left so people can see you. Yeah. Logan's going to put on a really forced smile, like really toothy and everything, to sort of mm -hmm. a few bit odd. Alright, and he lets you go. Okay. Logan's going to return to the group then. Well, we have our army. We certainly do. We I actually don't have any idea what he said. I assume he's saying it in a well, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Logan would relay it to you. Mm -hmm. He'd come back and say, mm, well, that means we have command of um, of a legion, in fact. Okay. Strange times. Okay, so you guys are all like mellowing around the party and are quite happy. Uh, does anyone else want to say anything or do anything at this stage? Just just to chill out or whatever you want to do. Um. Yeah, I I want to talk to Polis and I can. Mhm. Mm um. Just. You know, I don't want to like push too much. Just sort of mention it as like an offhand thing that, um, you know, since he's put us in, he's put Logan in command of this legion. It uh, it would probably be good if he would uh, outfit us and our uh, our existing um, men with some better equipment. He says, "My dear, I, I've given you a legion. What, what more do you need?" Only a few suits of armor and some weapons. Oh, I'm, I'm sure you can. If you, your, your man over there is commanding the the ninth legion of the Silver Legion. You can request requisition any piece of armor in their armory. You, you should speak well, to him. Well, that's all we need. I'll, I, in that case, I'll speak to Logan. Says, very well, very well. And goes back to the. Apollos, I, I want to thank you again for your incredible generosity. He says. I wish you every luck as the new minister. He says, my dear, without this. Without your help, I would never have gotten here. And he smiles. And in like a moment of sheer, you know, it's like 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 everything stands still. Uh, you notice people are gasping around, and as you are just smiling, Hoshi, and then you look down, and there is a a feathered arrow sticking out of uh, Polis's neck, and like blood is spurting everywhere. And then that the the smile is still on his face as he crumples down to his knees. And bends over. I immediately turn to just look around, see if there's anyone around with a bow that I can see. There are 17 people with bows that you can see around. There are, there are. Can you see these trestles up here, like this, like these here? They're like standing on, on things like that, just like with arrows, like arcing down into the place, and they're just firing on everyone, just everyone. And, and okay, so um, I, I, there's no, there's no, there's no. Point of calm to reason with them. This is a duck in cover situation. Yeah. 
Um, okay, well, in that case, that's time, exactly what I'm going to do. At the same, yeah, that's fine. Uh, no, no one's being hit at this point. I'm just describing what's going on. Uh, at, at this time, um, uh, several people in the in the actual party run towards the gates of the of the courtyard and wear them open. And around 13 to 14 uh, black armored masked assassins like just burst in, and they're screaming in Valenrethian for the emperor as they just charge towards the courtyard and up trying to get into the... They're just cutting people down in swathes just all the way around them. So, uh, what do you guys want to do? Uh, Logan would like to find the nearest stairwell and try and get up onto the trellises to take out the archers, if okay. still possible. Do we have our weapons with us? Yes, you or do like have Or, like, stored weapons. somewhere safe? Yes. I want to grab um, my bow as soon as I can. Resin's gonna... Uh, is Paulus dead completely, or is he, like, bleeding out? Uh, he's dead. Yeah, he's he's dead. Do you know what? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna old school draw this because I've not done this for a while, so I'm gonna <laughs> draw it like it's Minerva. Um, so who's um, who's nearest to uh, Logan? Is Magnus nearby at all? Um, Magnus is nearest Logan. Yes. Nearest Logan. Okay. I think Logan would have thought about trying to shield Magnus from the arrows first rather than run off, but... You can do that if you wish. How can we do that first? I'll, uh... I'm just the, the closest person, really. I'll, uh... I'm just happen to be the closest person. I'll sort of, uh... sort of look Logan over and be like, Thanks! I guess. And then, uh... Ready my staff. If any arrows come towards me, I'm gonna... I'm gonna grab them. Yeah, I'm gonna wait the Pathfinder, or not the Pathfinder, the, uh, what is it? Sorry, the, the ability for my class. Okay, I'm gonna pull you all onto this here. Okay. And I, I will explain what these are. Uh, this is a table, these are tables here, that I'm pinging now. Okay. Uh, these are stairs, heading up into the keep itself. Okay. Uh, these are heightened balconies, and this is the gateway. Okay, and I'm going to draw I'll tell you where to draw yourselves in a minute, because that's where you are. They're being led by a man who's here. Who is like completely masked. Uh, and they're all like charging in, they're all uh, dual bladed, so they've all got like, you know, uh, they're all just, like coming in, just twirling things, I'm throwing knives and stuff. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. I just thought I'd mention everyone, all of your macros have gone. So. If you yeah, had, yeah, I haven't ever made mine. Oh, I haven't. Okay. Didn't realize. Uh, I'm there making a beeline. Uh, so, I want uh, Hoshi. You were standing here, so you can draw yourself there. But you all get a free move. So you're not going to get to attack, but you're going to get to move. Um. Okay. Sorry. I I'm a bit too far zoomed in. Can you tell me where I am again, please? I'm pinging it. Oh, right there. Okay. Are we all in that area? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. no. Hope she's there. Um, Re Resin, you're. Uh, you were just enjoying a drink here. And. Logan and Magnus. Logan, you just got you just got you just got down off the rock from up oh. here, so you, you guys are here. Okay. Just next to each other. Okay, sorry, I will. I'll just draw myself now. Okay. This thing is so hard. <laughs> it's difficult. <laughs> the draw, the line drawing is not good. Anyway. Okay. So, um, you're gonna get to do one action before things kick off. So, what would you like to do? 
grab okay. my bow and shoot everyone. Okay. Who are you going to shoot? Um. I, know, I knew I said I wouldn't let you attack, but bollocks, it would always do it that way. It's fine. They're all in front of me. Yeah? Yeah. The main guy is here. The big old guy, basically. And these are all in front of you. Yeah, they're just bursting. And you can see that the objective is behind you. It's getting up the steps to get in and slaughter. Pretty much. Um, I think I'll shoot the leader. Okay. I'm going to roll as well, but you, you just do your thing. Okay. Um, I'll use rapid reload. Okay. <laughs> um, hold on, sorry, just get my advance rolls to go. Okay. So... Roll that 10. Yeah, re-roll the 10, but that's three crits. Okay. Um... And a hit. Okay. So, he, three no, crits, on, four hits. He's going to deflect all of those uh, with his dual blade. He's going to go and like, take them up the air. And it's like, dive towards you. And, and like, okay. I'm going to run. <laughs> Not now, because it's the end of my... Um, it's the end of my combat round, I guess. But... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Um, what is everyone this else? This guy. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. Um, I think I'm going to use a recovery vial, mm -hmm. so I'll have four actions this round, so two. Mm -hmm. um, but I go after Magnus, so Magnus, go ahead. Or uh, I don't like the look of there being dudes, so uh, I'm going to I'm gonna fireball to the face. Okay. I'm going to use Molten Smash. So all of you do. My banning check. Successful. Mm -hmm. So... If I just remember what my perfect damage die are. I should have done my macros during all this time, but I completely forgot about them. So Could you talk through how damage die work as you do that, so I can work out mine? Yes, yeah, so basically you get a D8 for every binding level you are over 4. I believe, is it 4 or 6? I think it's, I think it's 4... I think, I think it's 6, yeah. Yeah, so for every binding level over 6, you get another one. And then for every one over 8, I think you get 2? Yeah, That's and then right. it's then whatever the, the damage of the spell is, plus those, plus whatever you get from equipment, if you get any. Okay. Oh, Thank you. No, sorry, 5d8. And 2... No. 10d12. So, doing that much damage. Okay, cool. And then I'll do a second attack. So that succeeds. Mm -hmm. And I. Oh, I don't know why I that walled again, but. And that's the damage. Okay, and this guy is like blasted back to. here somewhere. And he cannot move next to him. He's getting back up, going, Whoa, and uh, passing down his robes. Okay, so they be toss. Hey, well that's my turn. Uh, Resin, you next. Um, Resin is going to... Um, okay, Resin's gonna jump right into the middle of all this and use Rapier Sprint. Mm -hmm. Which gives me as and as many attacks as I have enemies. Yeah. Yeah. One, so, two, yeah. three, four, five, sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> and um, hold on. Yeah. Uh, and I get to add a d6 to that, to the number of attacks. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, and every successful hit becomes a crit. Oh, you're gonna hope to kill a lot here. Cause, uh... If you don't, yeah, well, <laughs> luckily I'm body eight now, so I actually have like 220 health in addition to my 48 armor. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so I'm not gonna instantly die now. Oh, you. Oh. But yeah, so this is um, I now get. You said 16 of them. Yep. So I now get 21 attacks. Okay. So one. Crit. It's already crit. 
Two. Yep. Three. Yep. Four. Yep. Five. Yep. Six. Yep. Seven. Yep. Eight. Yep. Nine. Nope. Ten. Nope. Eleven. Yep. Twelve. Nope. Thirteen. Nope. Fourteen. Yes. Fifteen. Yes. Sixteen. No. Missed that time. Seventeen. Uh, to miss. Eighteen. That's a hit. Nineteen. That's another hit. Twenty. Uh, that's another hit. Twenty-one. That's a miss. Okay, so that's seven misses. Mm -hmm. So that's fourteen crits. Okay. Then you just do the damage, and we'll see where it all goes. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. So, da, 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 da. so you, you just like dive in between these guys with both your blades up, just like swinging around all over the place, and um, like, like severing arteries and chopping legs off as you as you come up. So there's like one dead there, two dead, three dead, four dead, and this guy over here, five dead. So there's five five people you just gone in there just swinging. There's like killed about five of them just by reaching out. They're not they're not prepared to somebody to jump into the midst. They're prepared for people to, to be fighting defensively, so you catch them completely off guard by landing there, and like, you just come up like, you know, like a whirlwind, basically, just like, leeching into them with your sword. Alright, <laughs> so who's... Just covered in blood now. Uh, that would be me. Let me just get the legendary plague book stuff up. And then... Yeah, sorry we didn't have time to do, to send over the... I'm sorry, I don't know. I, I thought we were going to have a break, but I... we didn't, because... I've got, I've got plenty of toys, don't worry. Right. <laughs> okay. I will. I'm going to run in front of Magnus and Hoshi. How how many actions would it take to get here, for example? One. One. Okay, let's go there. Uh, and then I think we'll do. Right, I keep forgetting about um, classes, essentially, so I get. That many free crits, mm -hmm. and that many re rolls in total, so Ooh. two and six can start. Mm -hmm. And then I think we'll do. I'll do shrugging off the worst into there, mm -hmm. I think. So let's activate that. Okay, I then get six attacks, so let's give it a go. Uh, have a one. It's a hit. That's a crit. Uh, crit. That's a uh, swords and tail. Roll and tail. I'll yeah. re-roll that one, shall I? I'll re-roll that mm -hmm. one. Uh, so a three. Mm -hmm. That's a hit. That hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a miss. Uh, okay. okay, and then two more. Can you you can use your free your six re-rolls on this, can't you? For the misses. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, do it then. Uh, uh, I re-roll re to a six. So. Yes, yeah, so it will be a miss. Um, so the next one... That's a hit. Uh, is a, is a crit, that one. And then one more. That's, uh, a, four. that's a miss. I'll re-roll it. That's a hit. For a two. Yeah, that's okay. it. Okay, so three hits and two crits. That's one. So... Um, just many dice. It's is for the exile? Is that um, that D six is for the whole battle, right? You get six for the whole battle. Uh, yeah, yeah. So the okay. Have have that. Holy shit! Okay, Dad, I'm just go in there, choppy chop chopping, and uh, Dad and Dad. Okay. Cool. So, uh, okay. their turn. He's just gonna dive forward. Uh, actually, no, he's not. He's gonna come back and. Uh... The, the, having all of his uh, people die 
I made him want to come back. A little no, bit. no, he just sees a challenge. Who's thinking? Hmm. Yeah. Finally, we're both some, swords. Some, somebody worth killing. So he, mm. did, he basically just charges you, and um, you're gonna need to. Uh, oh yeah, I need everyone's HP before we even go anywhere. All right. I have um, 220 HP and 48 armor. Okay. I have 300 HP and 50 armor. My cat sheet is closed down for some reason. Hold on, sorry. Um, oh, I have 80. 80 and what armor? Oh, um... Oh, well, that should be 26 armor, not 6 armor. I was just going to say, say like, it's really I, awesome. I am naked. Sorry, 20? 20. Cool. Um, so... You're going to have to block these attacks, Magnus. You're going to need a 7. Bad start. Just do my... <laughs> Fair, I can't, I can't not beat a 7, so... Okay, so you're going to need a 4. A 2. A... That's a crit. That's another crit. A 2. A five, a six, a nine, you're gonna do that. A yeah. Another eight, they're gonna do that. A one. Damn. And a minus three. <laughs> okay. Okay. And. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, you are on. Let's have a little look. Two HP. Jesus. Yeah, that, that didn't go well. So, um. No, it did not. The other guys are gonna come in and attempt just like a surrounding motion, but he waves them off, like because you're like on 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 one on one knee, just like with one of your with your hand on one knee, just like on one knee, just like ugh. Like panting, and as they go in for the kill, the, the leader like waves them off and put, tells them to push into the complex. And then more guys come around, uh, jump into the complex. So I will copy beast. He, he basically just says like in a really garbled accent. Besides, so don't mind him. Just get in, get in there, kill all the ministers, kill them all, and like they just like dive through and try to get past everyone. So, um, these are not actually going to try and attack. They're going to try and get past. They will attack when they when they've got someone to get past. So, Logan, you need a yeah. four. You need to roll a four. I'll parry, I'll parry the first one, but um, let's just go for the. Let's go with the four. So yeah. I'll parry the next one immediately, yeah. so it's gone. I'm just going to tell these guys to move. Oh, I need to activate it, actually, technically. So, so yeah. yeah, that's fine. Okay, and you need a six, a mm -hmm. two, a seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A five mm -hmm. and another oh, five. Dear. Okay, so okay. he deal you. Uh, that would be one hundred and fifty damage. So one hundred damage. Okay. Oh, all right. No, I'm on two hundred, not hundred. Good stuff. Uh, that guy moves forward. That guy moves forward. Okay, so that's their turn. Um, you guys can see that Resin's in big trouble down there. Like he, yeah, he's not in a good way. <sighs> How far away is he from me? <laughs> um, Same question. Let's measure. About 45 feet. 45 feet. Do I really want to get within 20 feet? <sighs> 
Okay, well, I'll I'll help him out a little, and uh, I'll cast Vase Legion. Okay. <laughs> so. I forgot about the spell. I'll sacrifice five of my How did you forget about it? to uh, raise know. the six people who have died thus far. Six. Uh, more than six no, have died. How many was it? It was. I killed five. Logan and, killed four. Yeah, so the nine people. So those nine people come back to life. I have 115 health. There we go. And then for my second action, well, I'll just command them to attack the uh, intruders. And then okay. for my second action, for my next trick, who's that guy? Is that just that's it. Just a this is an assassin. Yeah. Uh, I'll politely step out of his way and sort of go over here and uh, wave him on through. Green <laughs> zombies. <laughs> like what? One of the um. Okay, they inflict on this guy because they are they don't have the skills that they did, but they. Well, okay. they are zombies, so yes, that's understandable. They inflict uh three hundred and eighty-five damage on him. So he's not heavy. Uh, but but one of them like swipes off like his mask, and he like falls backwards, but then he comes up. And he springs up and he just slaughters like a few of them. Like, yeah. So they're 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 just gone because he just comes up and you know one touch and they go down anyway. But um, he just comes up like guns blazing and you can see this like uh, resin. He's got this like burned face. Like I mean like you know proper burns all over his face. And he's got like a mohawk and you can tell he's in a sunder. So he's like you know he's got this like. And he just does not look happy at all. He looks like he's just about to just like murder everything in sight. <laughs> Isn't that what oh, he's no. currently doing? Uh, yeah, yeah. So he's, he's are, uh, wait, how are his troops dressed again? Uh, just all in black. With like, okay. uh, yeah. Are they also dual swords? Yes. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I think I know who this is. <coughs> should be. <coughs> I have no idea. Not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who who do we know who wields the more swords, right? Yeah, but who we do know that's still alive who wields steel swords? Apparently. <laughs> oh no. Alright, um So Ooh, do I get a chance is. to attack yet? Uh, um, is it Hoshi next? It's Hoshi next, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. uh, I'm just oh, going to shoot the two that are near me. Okay. <laughs> Magnus, I need heals. I'm going to do my round sequentially this time. You're too far so, away, you guys, and you ran away too far. I can't kill. Okay. Also, I'm a coward. You know, a combination of those two factors. <laughs> Hit and a crit. Okay, yeah, cool. Oh, <laughs> he took damage of four, so he's dead. Okay. Well, two arrows just go slamming into his head. He again, I'll shoot the guy behind as well. Okay. Uh, both hits. Okay. He also took damage before. You're welcome. And he's dead. Thanks, Resident. <laughs> um, I'll remember you fondly. Now there's this guy between me and Magnus. Yeah. So I'll shoot him as well. Yeah. He did not take damage. Two crits. Yep, well, he might die though. Your yep. bow's pretty ridiculous. He's dead. Yes! <clears throat> Go, Hoshi. Okay, now we just have to deal with the problem that Reson's horribly. <laughs> well, I would be, I'd be a bit worried about Logan as well because he's standing in front of five, six of them. Yeah, but he's in heal range. Don't worry about me. He was sensible. Uh, to be, he'll be he was, fine. Yeah, he was, he was sensible enough to be in heal range. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Though. Well, I didn't think I was going to have to fight this particular person ever. All right. Um, after Hoshi, wrong. I think is apparently after Hoshi is either them or me. I think I want to throw you. 
Um, who has got the highest perception? I've got uh, seven. I'm way ahead of Logan. And I okay. Think, yeah. So what's their perception? Uh, their perception is eight. Yeah, so they go first. Okay. So they will uh, attack uh, Logan there. Uh, Logan, need a seven. Uh, okay. Uh, good stuff. Let's, let's have yeah. a seven. You need a, another seven, you passed. You need an eight, you passed. You need a four, you passed. Uh, three. You need a two. You passed. Yeah, uh, minus two. And that's it from them. So you just like go do, 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 and like, you know, uh, get all of the attacks out of the way. Uh, these guys move away from the zombies because they're thoroughly, thoroughly freaked out. And they go this way just to go around the combat through the stairs. Isn't everyone? Ah, uh, dear. I am. Right. They're still bothered. Uh, yeah, I am too. Yeah, me too. Uh, Resident Evil. Alright, my turn? Yeah. Um, what about the the big guy and the guys on the side? Oh, I'm about to throw uh, Bane of Humankind at, um, at this guy in front of me. He's about to throw down. Throw down. Bane of Humankind. All of my attacks are, um, are hits. Okay. And I roll for crits, uh, which is on a five or lower. You know, you're, he's, he's that arrogant in what he's doing, he'll let you go first. He'll literally just stop well, and uh, take it. I went first on the other one. He's attacked me since... Yeah. Okay, go for it. Go yeah, for so it. eight, the... Ten. So these are all hits, so I just gotta roll for crits. Yeah. And I'm gonna re-roll that ten. So that's, um, yeah. One second. Re-roll that ten. Alright, so that's four crits. Mm-hmm. And um, the rest are hit and six hits. Okay. Four so, crits and six hits. One. Is that? Two. Does that make sense? Three. Does what make sense? Five. Because well, he rolled eight dice. So. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry. No, that's that. that I I counted wrong. <laughs> I, sorry, it's oh, four right. crits and four hits. Four so hits. ignore two of those hits. Okay. I can't count them. So, yeah, yeah, you, you force him back. And, well, yeah, okay. and, and then four crits. Yeah, you force him back, and he's just, like, there now. Alright, so, take it to his turn, or their turn, now. I um, suppose. I'm probably bold. <laughs> um, he, he, he just comes forward and uh, waves everyone past him, and he just uh, go, go, goes to swipe at you with his sword, but you, like, you hobble down to one knee because you're like nearly, nearly gone, basically. And he just says, uh, he leans down, and you can smell like, um, uh, sort of like, uh, what is it, um, opium on his breath. And he basically says, uh, uh, "Don't kill what you find entertaining." And he grabs you by the throat and just slams you through the air. Into uh, the wall here, like just smashing into the wall. Uh, you're unconscious, but you're in the wall, so he's not going to kill you anymore. You're in the wall. You're in the wall. <laughs> you have become the wall. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It, it, you know, there was remember that one incident with the, the kicking the guy over the wall. And I, I, I may remember that. He dives forward over here and just lands, and like he actually breaks the tiles on the floor when he lands. And, uh, Hoshi, I, I would I would step aside. <laughs> Just uh, as, he, as he goes, Magnus, you can feel like the power of the binding, like infusing this guy, and you can say it's like the only thing keeping him together is the binding. Is that the only thing actually keeping him from just unraveling and melting away? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and stand the hell back as soon as I get the opportunity to. Okay. This was terrifying. <laughs> this is utterly terrifying. Yeah, this is. I'm not gonna shoot this. I think this is one problem I, saw, I can't solve with a uh, bow and arrows. Take my arrow, yeah. the whole fiend. And, oh shit! I'm, I'll just let you go past. Just, uh, you know. If you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go stand anywhere that's not here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. This guy's dead because he's surrounded by zombies, and this guy's dead as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm 
There's never. It is ne never. Uh, like Renaissance has never gone down that fast. I'm any. just okay. So I'm gonna sort of like just sort of side along so sort of this way. Just sort of like <laughs> nonchalantly just walk, just try not to draw any attention to yeah, myself. Yeah. yeah. Like not making any threatening moves and just sort of like you know walking, not in like a battle stance. Yeah. Are you are, are you are you invoking your inner uh, little Jimmy? I am invoking my inner little Jimmy to walk <laughs> nonchalantly through the battlefield to get to Logan. Right. I I don't know what I'm gonna do. Do they? Does it seem like they're running past us intentionally, trying not to get in our way? Um, Ding. roll roll your perception. Do a minus six because of your tactical. You know, you're pretty much a general at this point, so you got a lot of ch tactical mouse. Yeah, they aren't. They they okay. they were fighting you because they thought that you were trying to stop them, but it turns out you you were just defending yourself. So they're so skilled, they figured that out, and they're now going straight past you. And and if you go in the way, then they'll fight you. But if they're not, then they're just going straight in. Um, you, you, and you did hear before that they had to kill all of the ministers, basically, like uh, everyone at this party. So if you're more trouble than you're worth, they'll just. Okay, we should stand okay. down immediately. Well, what, what, what do you think I've been doing for the last five minutes? Well, okay. I'm gonna walk. <laughs> you know, sometimes <laughs> when. <laughs> Never mind. Right. I'm, I uh, might. Kill, I'm gonna... I might kill this guy. He stabbed me last turn, but that's about it for my turn. Okay, uh, try it. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I'll have two crits that I get from my special ability thing. He was, um, he was earlier, hurt with then... Rezon before, so any crit from you will automatically kill him, pretty much. Okay, I'll, I'll take two crits and kill him, then, basically. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, the zombies fall dead because Magnus just goes, just releases his control, so they're dead. Uh, yeah, I'm like, yeah, it's good. Um, so done with the shit, right? Um, <laughs> Two things happen. Uh, the, the assassins make their way inside, and the main guy stays outside and looks around at the sky. And then, uh, Magnus, you, you get like a real sense of the binding surging, and you turn around, and he basically just like uh, pulls his power inwards, and you can see like flames come throughout his armor and stuff. It's like spit out of the joints in his armor, and he just like starts screaming like he's in real pain, and he just bolts straight upwards, straight forward and upwards, and smashes straight through the wall, and then down into uh, whatever the carnage that's going on. You hear screams and you know horrid sounds coming from there as people just slaughtered and killed. And like fires start in there and smoke starts spilling out, out through the hole that this guy made in the inside of the building. Well, I know where I'm not staying. So I'll, sort of, I'll, I'll keep walking. Sort of, uh, as I walk past, I go, how'd you do? And then sort of walk <laughs> over and, uh, and cast clothing. <laughs> like closing wounds on a uh, resin. Yeah, you you, 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 you you pull him out the wall and he falls like like ten feet and just, just goes poof onto the floor. And then you you you, you heal him to one HP. You see he's back down to one HP. Yeah. And that's fine. <laughs> Logan's not all resin, that comfortable with all these sounds that are going on. Resin just kind of so wakes up and goes, "Did we win?" <laughs> no, but Resin, Resin, after what just happened, Resin doesn't even, like, consider the fact he might have won. He's just shaking his head like, what okay. the fuck was that? Um, what were you saying, Logan? Um, Logan's going to try and see if he can get people out rather than fighting them. He doesn't want to get in the way of the assassins, but if there's any, like, women or children around... No, everyone's, trying... everyone's dead, Dave. Yeah. They're all dead. <laughs> yeah. They're all, they're all dead. Yeah, no, I, I, every, everyone out here is dead, and if you want to go in there and get women and children out, you're more than welcome to. Um, okay, Logan will probably do that. Okay, um, alright. Try and save anyone that you can. Okay. Um, I'm getting the hell out of here. Just putting it out there. Do I see Logan running it towards danger? Yeah, yes, good point. You, you see him running towards the... Okay, yeah, we're going to try and stop him. I'm going to be like, Logan, where the hell are you going? There are people in there. You can hear the screams. Don't tell me it doesn't affect you, Magnus. Of, of course, Logan. It does, but we've got to go. We, we we should know. We need to know when the fight is lost. And this fight is lost. I don't like you people sometimes. I'm sorry, Logan. We don't have a choice. Okay. Let's go. Just. All right. I don't want to hear about this. Okay. Um, you guys make your way out, and, and the, the all of the uh, all of the city is like it's stunned silence as you guys just come out. 
Like um, resin's like basically barely moving along. It's just yeah. Uh, as you were coming out, you can see um, uh, both Helikion and Gracchus like cutting assassins down like they're nothing, but they're, they're also fighting their way out. And eventually, they they come to your area of calm here in the courtyard, and they just say to both of you, "We have to move." And like just you know, and and they they come straight for Logan. And just like pull him out, pull him out. They literally just like they don't give a shit about anyone else. They just like grab him almost off his feet and just like haul him, haul ass towards the uh, the doorway. Really? So, um, you guys are basically um, walking through the the actual place now. They're walking through the city, uh, trying to get out. And eventually, you do get out of the city onto like the the grain field surround it and um oh we'll wait for a second because logan's gone but, uh, mm -hmm. Juice. <laughs> Do I get a speed roll, Evan? Juice. <laughs> the completely straight phase. But yeah, yeah. Dean, what are you just... <laughs> I, if you had been here, you just, I, I actually had like just completely panicked once, you, <laughs> once I realized what was happening. Yeah. I'm just like, oh no, oh no, shit, boo! <laughs> just, just utter panic, I, <laughs> like visibly. How'd you kids? How'd you wife? I don't know. <laughs> no, it's like once, I, once I realized like happening, it's like I was half tempted to just. You know, if I had medicated, I would have resin would have just run away. It's just like nope, 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 nope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See you later. He's actually, he's actually back on the ship. Just like yep, yep. Let's in go. Sit and sail in, in the fetal position. No, 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 no. So I had the Godzilla meme. It's walking into the sea with his like two middle fingers up. Like no. No, 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 no. I just I can't even bother with the boat at this point. I'm swimming. <laughs> Just so fucking out of here. Yeah, yeah, we just we just come past you sailing in the boat later on, just like Raz on. Just still going back. Nope, 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 nope. We're just like, just get in the boat. Alright, so um get in the boat. So so that's so, where so, uh, you you guys are, are walking through the city with this billowing smoke behind you on the hill. And uh, everyone's shocked and backing away because they see you covered in blood and ash and all sorts. And finally you guys stagger out onto the plane because you can't get to the docks. So you're gonna try and get to the dock into your ship through through the plane, and there you see like an, an outrider come riding up, and he reports directly to Helikion and uh, Gracchus, and they basically turn around and uh, they look at Logan and then they look at these the outriders and they say, uh, "I think it's uh, time we had a chat, you and I." To Helikion says to Logan. Very well. Dun, dun, dun. He, he, he basically just turns around and looks at the. Uh, he's, he, uh, as you guys round the corner, round the hill, just outside the city, you're all exhausted. But in front of you are thirty thousand men, um, all like there, just ready to go. And he basically says, um, yeah, Helekion turns around to you, to you, Logan, and, and he says to Magnus, he says, um, do you want to tell him or should I? Uh, I think it's best if uh, I tell him. Okay. And he, he, he tell backs me away. Things. What are you both talking about? <sighs> Alright. Look. Truth is, you. Well, your line stretches farther back than you think it does. You see? Well, yes, I, I know that. I know my heraldry goes back a long way, but we're just we're minor nobles, nothing more in Keldane. 
In, in Kaldanian, yes. However, in Valenreath, the Balefire family were descendants of another family who were descendants of Sarpedon. Sarpedon? Yeah. You mean Sarpedon the Conqueror? Sarpedon the Conqueror, builder yeah. of the Empire, greatest man ever to have lived. Sarpedon, yes. You, so far as anyone knows, are his last living heir. So I could have... But I could have stopped all this bloodshed. They wanted I don't think me as Emperor. I don't think Emperor and to stop this bloodshed. But I think we can move forwards and stop any future bloodshed. And how do you propose that, Mangus? What's your grand plan? I know you have one. Well, my grand plan, as much as it pains me to say it, is to put you in charge. Re Resin's like not not in still too much pain to laugh, but he's just gonna look incredulously at at um at Magnus, just like what? Wait, what? Well, I, I, I have I'm to agree with, with Resin. At this, uh, Gracchus just comes up and he says. Uh, uh, we also have something that could help with that. And he points over into the into the distance, and he says, uh, "He says uh, we left, like we sent runners as soon as we found out that, uh, well, who you were, Logan." And he turned around and he he, look, he points to the distance and he says, uh, "There's uh, another four legions coming to join the one that we have in front of us." But. Uh, I've just had a scout report here, and he, he opens up a piece of paper and he says, uh, Five legions have made their way under the apparent command of one of the nine ministers here, the only one who survived, called Crassus. And they apparently they're blocking the way to Emberhold. How could he possibly survive that? Resonance as any points back. He basically, uh, Krakus just shrugs and says, The only way you can survive something like that is to be a part of that, I suppose. Oh. Resonance gonna shake his head. I knew there was a black heart and he, you know, in Wolverine, but I never thought it went that deep. That's truly worrying. Well, I suppose we'll have to deal with this Crassus. What do we think, everyone? Up for another adventure? Once again, Feels that we have no choice. It's always the way, isn't it? Funny that. Resin's not Logan's... sure that he's ready to, uh, to to deal with this quite yet. Yeah. He, Resin's actually just like he's not been beaten ever beaten quite that soundly before, so he's in a bit of shock right now. He's still trying to sort himself out, so he's not saying anything. Logan doesn't quite believe you, Magnus. So he's kind of he's kind of going along with it because we have bigger problems at the moment. But this uh, whole trade's not falling in. Helikion Hel Hel turns to Magnus and says, uh, "So I take it whatever the legions are protecting at Emberhold has something to do with your friend Carrion, Is that correct?" I go. <sighs> Most probably, yes. He just shakes his head and says, "Well, if we're to get to that man." Afraid we're gonna have to, have to use our legions on the legions blocking the way, unless we can convince them to join us. Do we really have to spill more Vedimetian blood? He says, I'm afraid, my friend, as soon as we declare Logan as Emperor, blood was going to be spilt either way. At least this way we can make sure it's away from any of the major cities and maybe end this once and for all before it even starts. Well, I at least think we should talk to them first. There's no need to spill blood that need not be spilled. He says, I agree. I agree. Well, uh, I sort of turn to Logan and go, Well, it's your choice, ultimately. What do you say? Let's go. Alright, so that's where we'll leave it for this session, I think. Okay. So we'll, we'll, let, it, we'll <laughs> let it finish this, this time around. So, um, okay. you guys are basically on your way to Emberhold with five legions, ready to confront five legions that are apparently loyal to Carrion, because, uh, you know, who else would have 
Um, we'll just put them in your way. Who, who, well, who else would have put them in your way, and who else would have... Uh, you know, Always one step ahead. <laughs> and who else would have attacked the rest of the ministers? We don't know, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> and uh, locks back, everybody! Hooray! Oh, Hooray. God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it have to be long? Nothing is. Now, if we had killed him, and I'd have gotten his swords, and then and then and then nothing would have ever been able to, you know, stand up to hit for me. Yeah. But oh my god, oh my god, I really panicked. You have no idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was not. You guys have to clue me in on these like this because I I have no idea. I literally have no idea who these guys I didn't. I, I didn't <laughs> want to say anything like explicit until <laughs> like this point. It's just. <laughs> and all you need to know is that nowhere is safe now. No way. Locke, who is just... There There wasn't any stopping Locke. Yeah. Ever. He's just too ridiculous. Well, it, well, and and now, he's, now he's against us. Yeah. I just want to know how he's alive. Well, Binding you, magic. you'll find out. Yeah, you will find out. Oh, didn't you say, like, Binding Magic was the only thing keeping him yeah, together? Pretty much. I mean, I don't know that. That's Hoshi, but, like, yeah. <laughs> that figures. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He 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 he, he, sh- he was he should have been atomized. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. well, well, considering we said that the dragon landed on him, we don't really know whether it was that foot landed on him or just part of it landed on him or whatever. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, he, he got like you know. And dragons have been downgraded. Lightly since grazed then. by a fucking dragon. Yeah, the, the dra- dragons have been downgraded since then. They're not they're not gods anymore. They're just seen as oh, gods. Okay. Even though they are okay, so, probably the most powerful thing in the setting. So basically, he would not have been atomized no, just from being next no, to it anymore. No, no. Damn it, I should have tamed it. Handle <laughs> <laughs> animal check. Handle animal check, yeah. <laughs> well, it still would have exploded your head if you if it had done that, but it, there's still the pretty much the most powerful thing in the setting, but, you know. <laughs> Worth um, it. <laughs> <laughs> That's 20. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so that, that's what you guys will be doing next session. You'll be leading with, with conflicted minds, considering Magnus is actually in league with Carrion now. Um, mm. With conflicting minds, Logan's just going there believing Car- uh, Magnus has his best intentions at heart. You know. Um, which, to be fair, I do. Which, which you do, which you do. Um, Resin's going there just to try and stop people from killing him, and Hoshi's going there because she doesn't really have a choice. Yeah, all she Once does, again, she can go on a, she can go all on I want to do is just go home and just have a nice, peaceful life. <laughs> yeah, well, gonna happen. Then you tell, us, you? tell my mum I'm sorry and just live at home. The, the one thing <laughs> you're confused good about, Magnus, is that surely if if Carrion wanted Logan there to survive the trip, he wouldn't put five legions in your, directly in your path. Yeah, so yeah that's, got, that's got him suspicious. Yeah. What? Yeah. Mm. So. It's a test. It's always going to be too easy, wasn't it? So, uh, so here, here's walking. the plan, guys. Here's the plan. So you have to throw me into the middle of the army, right? And then and you I'll die. Use, no, no, no. Then I'll use the scorpions reach that. Yeah. Or yeah. Not, not scorpions reach. A uh, rapier sprint, mm. and I get an attack for every enemy. I get, I get thirty thousand attacks. <laughs> so it, it, it's, nah, it's it, a plan, it, guys. It would have to be within like you know before you get tired because you would get tired. So it'd be like probably be like a thirty limit. Yeah. You know, just <laughs> just for like three days, residents taking his turn. <laughs> yeah, <you're right>. <laughs> <laughs> just killing everything. Right, I'm gonna go and get something to eat. Alright, uh, see you later, dude. I'll uh, speak to you guys uh, later. Bye. Yeah. See you, mate.